good morning friends and welcome to this launching my business vlog i decided to do this like literally this morning like the idea has been in my mind but i haven't been entertaining it much but today i just woke up with so much um drive and energy to share this journey with all of you sharing this with all of you is the right thing to do because it relates so closely to the gifts that i'll be offering to the world it relates so closely to just showing up as you are and learning how to be the fullest expression of yourself as often as you can be so yeah like taking you guys along for this journey is just me truly stepping into my role as a somatic embodiment facilitator especially as it relates to visibility i really really want to support people in showing up for their gifts for their art for their medicine in ways that feel pleasurable in ways that feel good for your body and that honor your capacity so yeah that is really me sharing this part of you guys as part of myself with all of you um and honoring this side that's like i am still figuring things out i didn't want to rock up in like a week's time two weeks time and be like hey i launched my business like i wanted you guys to see everything almost everything that has gone um on around here i wanted you guys to experience and see like my uncertainty and a little bit of my process and in seeing this just know that if you want to start your own business if you want to start putting your art your music your writing out there um your specific like healing methodology out there start just start putting it out and like you'll figure out a lot of what you do as you go along and that's what I'm doing and it seems to be working for me right now. So yeah, by showing up in this way, I just also want you to know that you don't always have to arrive at a destination with like knowing everything, with everything figured out. You can just like move along and learn as you go and show people, let people experience um, the parts of you that are uncertain, the parts of you that aren't sure, that don't have all the answers. Um, and I really hope that you enjoy this behind the scenes, really like energetically, emotionally charged vlog about the few days leading up to the launch. I go live in a week, like in a week's time, that's when my first offering will be out. I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited to finally have this really beautiful offering out into the world like it's been a few months like ideating it's been a few months working with it processing it seeing how it wants to come out and when it wants to come out so i'm really like okay it's time let's let's get it out there let's get the gifts the medicine all out there um but until next week i have quite a few things to do today i need to write a newsletter for my mailing list i also have to write um the about page for my website and then i also have to call the pottery studio and set up a day to like go and redo one of my pieces i really really want to prioritize that call and prioritize going to the pottery studio because i know that like launches launching a business launching an offering anything like a container a service is always so charged with like this urgent go 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 override your capacity energy like super scarce super intense energy and that's not how i want to do business i want my business to be pleasurable i want my business to be easeful and to be enjoyable to be fun and i know that's possible because in the months leading up to this i've had such amazing experience business experiences be it a meeting be it like a late night call writing an email something um 
I've had experiences that have been so pleasurable and enjoyable in the framework of business. And so I know that's possible. So scheduling my pottery lesson for this time is very intentional. And it's basically me saying that as I step into this role, as I step into this unfolding, I don't want to forget how to have fun. I don't want to forget that I'm doing all of this so that I can experience more aliveness, more vibrance in my own life. And I'm doing all of this so that people can see that it's so, so possible to enjoy business, to enjoy marketing, to enjoy showing up. Throughout this launch week, I really, really want to carry on doing the things that make me feel pleasure and that make me feel alive and know that when I am nourished, when I am resourced, I am able to apply myself to my business from a more open, a more curious, a more like alive, enjoyable place as well. So all of this is in service to myself, but it is also in service to my business. Okay, it is around 12 o'clock now, having quite a late start to my day. I really want to finish writing this newsletter. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys afterwards. And it's supposed to be such a short, simple one. Mm -hmm. I'm literally saying, you are the universe. And God wrote through the universe. Ask for the things you want. But I'm now like talking about like, I grew up in a Christian household. <laughs> Lots of backstory. God was always separate. Oh, man. Ah! Love that.
One more minute to go until the website okay. launches. I am freaking out. I can't believe this is happening. I'm doing it at like on a Thursday, which is Jupiter Day. I'm doing it during Jupiter hour, which is around two o'clock. And today's the 14th of March. So I'm waiting for 14, 14, 14 to launch my website and launch my business. And I'm just like looking at the clock now to be like, okay, when is it happening? When is it happening? Ooh. Oh my God, it's 14, 14. Okay. I'm gonna hit publish. I'm gonna hit publish. There she is. Oh my word. Oh my word. She's live. We're live. It's done. We are in this current manifestation. We are live. Oh my goodness. That was deeply intense and sensational. The last time I experienced something like that, I was in university handling in my final dissertation. It's kind of amazing that like since then, my capacity to be with stress has just expanded so much that it takes a lot for me to feel like super stressed out and super like, I'm late for my pottery session. I'll continue this later. This leaves my mind Waking with no I just got off the phone with my grandmother before our phone call I was just going back and forth with myself about what I wanted to say in this segment and how I wanted like my thoughts to come out and how long I wanted to speak for and I was just getting really nitty-gritty about sharing words um, and the call with my grand just reminded me that you know this is this is why we do things this is why this is why we exist we exist for the little laughs that we get to share with people we exist for the warmth of love we exist for the joy and the connection and i think when we do things that we really want to do things that feel big and scary we just tend to zoom in and focus so much on the thing that we lose sight of the feelings behind it. We lose sight of like the love that we want to feel and the connection that we want to feel and the joy that we want to feel. So this call with my grand like came at the most perfect moment for me and it was just a reminder that I don't need to be in my head all the time about how I show up here. I can just be, I can be myself, I can be with whatever I'm feeling in the moment and know that truly in every, every single moment I will be loved and connection will be available to me yeah balancing launching my business with doing this youtube video it was quite stressful for me it did like it was edgy you know it was it was verging on the places where i feel like i'm reaching my capacity i remember when i was when i was heading to pottery i was just saying that i haven't done anything this stressful since i handed in my dissertation in university and since i moved to korea as well that for me is already such a big win in this 
becoming because it shows that my capacity to be with stress has just expanded so much over the past few years like i'm no longer living my day-to-day -day life from like a threatened nervous system from or a nervous system that thinks it's under threat from like this place of i need to do this i need to do this to survive i need to do all of these things or else like i will die or something will happen and i can look at my actions now and where i'm at now and be like wow it took a really long time for me to get to a point where i'm like whoa okay i'm stressed how can i be with the stress right now and part of being with the stress of launching was just taking these few days after the launch to just sit with myself and not worry or not have like the camera in front of me and recording myself at every second but to just like sit with my thoughts sit with everything that's going on and trust that when i eventually do share my thoughts with all of you it will happen in a way that is most true that is what needs to come out in that moment and everything i'm sharing now is like really not what i had intended but i'm just going to allow that to be part of the game and the story and allowing myself to ramble right now is just also allowing this entire experience of launching of sharing my gifts of also sharing the behind the scenes of what i'm doing sharing this is just allowing all of that to truly settle in my body and i am just really happy to be here and even saying that sounds so big because happiness is it's for me it's been such a difficult um over the years it's been quite difficult to access happiness and joy but slowly slowly it's happening in the past year that i've just been dedicated to somatics i can feel myself like growing happier and as my capacity to be with stress expands and to discharge stress so does my capacity grow to be with happiness more space is created for my happiness because i now have the tools to discharge and to release stress and any pent up energy <sighs> yeah i am trusting that this exists <laughs> i'm trusting that this is exactly what needed to come out in this moment and i'm going to leave this video here i really hope that you will just take from this what you need whether it reveals itself to you today or in a few months time um i just hope that you will take what you need and leave the rest